So when you saw what happened with Draymond, you thought what in first blush moment in that one, Jim? That is going to be a flagrant, flagrant one, flagrant, flagrant two, just because of the stomp. Right now, the every you know everything that happened after that, of course, <clears throat> is up to debate. But I knew at the time, and because of Draymond, what had transpired in the past that. When they called it and went back and looked at it, I knew it was going to be a flagrant one and flagrant two immediately just because of the emphasis when he stomped down. And I know a lot of people are like, you know, you know, where else is he supposed to put his foot? I get all that. But it's Draymond Green. So as much as he gets benefit of the doubt in regards to maybe being a little bit more demonstrative in his arguments with the officials and stuff like that, and that's a long line in regards to – how they allow him to speak to them. But then there's the other side of it, too, which is the history part of what has happened with Draymond. That comes back to haunt him as well. So you can't have one without the other. And this time, the other was the suspension part that Adam Silver handed down based on, you know, history of what happened in the arena and things like that. And the Warriors took care of business last night. Game four can even this series. And I imagine uh, when Draymond steps on the floor in game four in San Francisco, there will be a thunderous ovation, and that'll be another emotional tide that the Kings will have to survive. How do you see this series playing out from here on out, Jim Jackson? Well, I always thought that Golden State had the advantage from the championship experience. Now, they're not as deep as they were. Their margin of error, Rich, it's not the same as it was in the past. And what I mean by that is that in the past, because they were so great defensively, and I thought their bench gave them a little bit more from a scoring punch, that they could overcome those turnovers. They've always been a high turnover team, okay? Mm-hmm. But their margin of error was a lot bigger because of those intangibles I just talked about. Now you can't, it, it's tougher. They've they, they got a slim margin of error. So them turning the basketball over in particular in, in Sacramento, defeats what they're trying to do offensively because they're not being able to get the kind of stops they need, in particular on the road, to win those games. So they can't turn the basketball over. So I thought going in that I still favored a higher-seeded Golden State because of the maturity and championship experience. And that's not a knock on Sacramento. It's just that I haven't seen them perform at this level against this team at this kind of on this kind of stage. Would I be surprised if Sacramento won. Heck no, I'm happy for Mike Brown. I love what they've done with that um, lineup and the roster. They streamlined it. They have guys that are low-maintenance guys. Uh, De'Aaron Fox is a low-maintenance superstar. Everybody buys in. But going into the series, I, I, quite honestly, I thought that Gold State could win that in six or seven. Well, we are going to have to see them win on the road in a way that we are accustomed to seeing them on the road in the playoffs, winning games. Uh, 27 straight series with at least a road playoff win, a remarkable streak that may just come to an end, to be very honest with you, because they haven't really been able to play lockdown defense on the road since last year's finals, essentially. And, you know, Dr- Draymond being back would be, would be a, a, no doubt, a, a feather for them. But they're going to have to defend in Sacramento in a game five and presumably one would think a game seven. Uh, I, and I don't well, know. I, I'd be concerned for him. Here's the thing. Think about this. The first two games, they were right there. They were. They were a 10-point lead in, a, in game one. Okay? What, what Steve Kerr really wants them to do, more so than not in particular on the road, is this. Attack the basket a lot more. Remember, Golden State was, you know, we, we, we fell in love and got enamored with them shooting three-point shots. But remember all the layups they used to get? Backdoor cuts and every, all the easy baskets because you had to guard the perimeter? Well, Steve Kerr really wants his team to, one, especially on the road, shot selection is the key because those long, quick shots lead to fast breaks for Sacramento, okay? Your defense is not set, so your defense is going to be compromised. So better shot selection. Be a little bit more patient. Second, attack the paint. By attacking the paint, you slow down the pace a little bit more. You score the basketball. Now Sacramento can't get out and run. Those little things right there help your defense, okay? So if you are deficient in one area defensively, your offense can be your best friend in regards to protecting and hiding that a little bit and insulating you from those opportunities where Golden State can take – I mean, where Sacramento can take care of it. That's the key for me because they're not all of a sudden become better defensively. They can, but their offense really has to, I think, tighten up a little bit 
on the road in Sacramento in order to get a W. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.